And then we have and to the women are allowed to do like hands uh, cannot uh, uh, Yeah, and now I'm dressing up and being with you. So I hope you're very quick. I told you. Maybe it's not a big sister. So maybe like you know money up on a green job. It says to make sure that it was implemented and it was instilled in me. So it's a good thing. Maybe I don't understand by me. Okay, so it's working on it. Yeah, we, we send another link. <laughs> 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 You see the message for the other Thank you very much. So they are here, so it's good. Yeah. Well, David, your brother came in to this wonderful family, coming to pick our precious gold or ornaments from us to you. But we didn't know. So we wanted to see. And lo and behold, we have brought a handsome, vibrant man that to me, you are okay, but I can also say that. Uh, because I'm only represented. Uh, that's right. So I can't do much. Mm-hmm. All I can do is to introduce you to the family. So on behalf of the family, we say you are welcome. But then, since whatever you want to take of our family is so precious to us, we want to know how did you come? Can you see David in there? So what do I do that? Thank you very much. So they want to know how we came. You just can't come and take a woman away just like that. You know, you have to David. make sure that at least you, you pacify the family. Pacify the family. Because for whatever they have done, money cannot buy. Whatever prayer they invested in Christina, we can't, we can't even pay. I mean, we can't even think even about money. Even if we say thank you, we have to say thank you for as long as Christina is old. So, like, if Christina is five years, we must say thank you for five years. Because for every single time, whatever they did, it has Christina at the center of it. As the author. And I know that Sam and Mami has done a great job investing prayer, investing um, um, character, instilling character in Christina. So, all that we are doing is we are just trying to symbolize something. Our thanks to them, our thanks to every single person who has been a consequence of his students and life this far. Because what David is here to do is to take over the mantle of that son. That son has been a cover over his children. And David, I don't I don't know what my small brother was thinking of. This is a pastor. You know, a pastor's coffin is big. So I don't say that again. A pastor's coffin is big. That's right. It's right. 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 You know? So, but my brother is more than me. There's a grace of God. I'm the link here. I'm the link. If you want me to phone it, you. So I'm just going to give me your. Okay. So, this is, this is, these are the things we brought. Okay. Um, 
Maybe the time will not permit me to go through every single, every single one of it. Right. Um, but I will hand over everything. I will hand over every single thing to the linguist. Um, but this is for the father. This is for the father of Christina. As I said, the Daddy Spirit has covered the entire family. Um, so Daddy, we are giving you this to say thank you for all the work that you've done in Christina's life. Um, this is for mother. That's for mother. That's how we say that's for mother. They put the whole pieces together. They make the whole thing work. Men think we are the head, but the women are the neck. Because the neck doesn't move the head to the body. So it will work. So, mommy, this is just to classify you. This is just to say that we thank you for um, letting Christina go. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. And I know there are also there are also Christina has some brothers. And brothers are saying that if you are taking their sister away, they are very, very sensitive. Yeah, when it comes to marriage, I'm sorry to say men are more sensitive than the women because as the lady leaves, no one is going to cook for them anymore. <laughs> you know, they cannot throw away, they cannot come to the house and just throw their clothes all over the place because Christina will no longer be there to fix the rooms. So we are just bringing this just to pacify our Akonta. Akonta is our brother you know. This is my contact. Okay. So I think at this point I'll just hand over everything to to the linguist. This is the monetary side, and this is the ring and the Bible. Thank you very much. In addition to that, when we came to do what we call knocking, which is to tell the family of Christina that oh. Um, baby has to, just to announce the intentions of David to the family. David was given a list of things to bring. So the thing that he was giving was this and also these items over here. So, um, say, by yeah, if you didn't understand what I said, please go. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ajame. Well. Uh, because what I'm saying is that we represent the family. What I'm saying is that I'm trying to say that. The family cannot simply accept it, even though I have taken it. Because it's not bringing it to me. It's bringing it to the lady that they are coming to, to take away from us. She's the one who has to tell us whether we accept this or not. And so we will make sure that we bring this in so that we ask her if we should accept all these beautiful things before we proceed. But before I do that, I want you to know the people sitting behind it, the family members. So that you don't ascribe anybody to be Christian. <laughs> so that when Christiana comes in, you will be able to differentiate her from your family members. Yeah. So um, uh, I want the family to introduce themselves to you so that you know who they are. I'll start from that. <laughs> My name is uh, Stephen Owusu. I'm the father of Christina. I'm sorry, uh, Christina. I am Pastor Samuel Obey, and the one covering Christina. <laughs> I am also pastor in my a friend and a family member. Amen? Amen. Amen. Well, all said and done, 
we are here because of Christianity. And I want to be able to ask your permission. Christiana travel, he hasn't come yet. And we need some quotation. Yes. Because oh if we oh seriously, oh as long as I'm, as far as I'm concerned, I know this handsome man came really. We take this beautiful and wonderful woman from the covering of a man of God. And we can't just let you come and take her away like that. So we need transportation to go and take care of Christiana where she is. Yes, and bring it. Make sure it's healthy because if it's not healthy, uh, we will just drop it at the at the, at the bronze level hospital, and then that will be the end. First class airplane. That is right. Thank you very much. Did you hear that? Yeah. So before we send somebody to get this kind of relief and protection, DJ, give us song. Yeah. 
as to the value you have to the most important subject. I want to know, do you know this one? <coughs> do you know him? <laughs> we can't hear their voice, Michael. Well, you are right. <laughs> do you really know this one? Yes, I am. Oh, sure. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Danny? No. I'm going to say, 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 I'm and as many and Zana, that was. As you heard, you were here minding our business. Said that they have found a fresh shorts. Flower here. Mm -hmm. They will have to come and use it. Yeah. Take flower uh, away. Now we have brought all these persons according to our customers and everything. But you are the one who is going to live with it. I want to make sure, I want to make sure whether we should accept this gift so that we will go with it. Should we accept the gifts? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 
So when they are going, we still play the victim for them to sit down. Okay. I think so now. Not only like the father is saying, but we accepted him and accepted whatever you have come to do when you are part of the family. So on behalf of the family, we want you to know that your offer has been accepted. Amen. 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 Now we have to keep the secrets. We have to pray over the Bible and the Lord and the Lord will sit down. So I will ask all the ministers. Yes, David, you can sit here now. Take your wife, man. What do you have to do? This is your freedom from now. Very good. Now I'm going to call all the ministers in the house. Come so that we bless this wonderful Bible and bring this house with an emblem to indicate what marriage means. Amen. I think the internet is coming after the prayer. And uh, what is the what is the blessing that the one thing the before blessing that she about the goodness of God? And the team, so and he hasn't done any right. Um, and that's that's wonderful. After praying, and the Lord God, which is the symbol of the marriage, which they can go without the go of them. The ring is an indication of saying that this marriage can never be broken. The Bible is a symbol to tell you that you can't go out without God. This is a battle against the enemy. Marriage is at a very, very, very serious attack from the enemy. And the men are married, men, women are married, women. That is not of God. But here, we see an institution ordained by God. So we want to make sure that we are part of this by blessing this number so that this marriage will be what's called one. So you all spend a great time so that you could. Okay, that's for your fear. So you only need to pick the best of God, right? Thank you, brother. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you the glory and adoration this morning. It's your will and your purpose that, Lord, we should meet and accept this gift that, Lord, you have given the gospel for it. Brother, Father, you first gave your son, Jesus Christ, as a gift. And Father, by him, we are liberated from every aspect of life. So by that name, Jesus, that Lord, you have given on this earth. We apply by that name, we stand by that name, we move by that name, and we meet whatever king that we, we are seeing or experiencing or witnessing, we bring everything before you in the name of Jesus. 
Father, we sanctify it by the blood of Jesus. And we pray that any spirit that not from you, and by the name of Jesus, Father, we glorify everything in Jesus' mighty name. Wherever that the gift is coming from, Father, in the name of Jesus, let that house be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Because at the, at the time of wedding, when your son Jesus went, there was a lot of miracles. Yes. There was miracles. It's my prayer that, Father, so Lord, we accepted this day. Let miracles follow us all the days of our life in Jesus' name. And Father, lastly, we bring the marriage before you. Father, we know when you created the heaven and earth and you created all the animals and everything that we do. Brother, Father, the devil didn't start to attack none of them. But when you created human beings, Adam and Eve, where the devil showed them? It's my prayer that, Lord, wherever that they have gathered concerning this marriage, in the name of Jesus, we destroy their works in Jesus' name. Wherever that they are coming from, whether from the, uh, the, the Ruth family or the, um, the Bright family, Father, in the name of Jesus, we destroy them in Jesus' name. It's our, it's our prayer that, Lord, let's do the next for you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray we thank you. Let us say, Amen. 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 Please be seated. All right. At this time, before the pastor blesses this wonderful marriage. We want to give the opportunity to the family, two people from here, two people from here, to give a word of exhortation and advice to this wonderful couple. Yeah, we the best dresser before I was talking to this guy. We were 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 talking I think that we will let Mummy Mummy will talk. Mummy will talk then as I was then big sis. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. So, baby, I got this I I have to
who are found each other, who do love each other passionately. I was telling mommy today that David is not verbally expressive of his love for me, but I see the way he <laughs> expresses of his love for me. And I want why I'm so jealous. <laughs> you want to do something? <laughs> but you can tell that she really loves Christina. Yeah. And Christina really loves her last story. And uh, <laughs> 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 um, and like I said, I kept Christina during the part of the cell. And that they should hold on to that now because I've been for five years this year. And it's not that long compared to our current position in my home, but my home holds in weight. And you need to hold on to those moments, those moments of laughter or joy, so that when the test of trials come, it's not fighting against each other, but you're together in the ring, fighting against that challenge. And the last thing I said was, keep holding on to your family stuff. Because when the babies come, one is going to have the same side, but for the first thing you learn. Um, family is very supportive. When everyone else is gone, it's family that changed through the, through the crowd and through all the things that you go through. But remember to keep God. I know you guys are very, very prayerful together. Mm-hmm. Keep God at the center and he will keep you to the end. And Christina, welcome to the family. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> I will really talk about that. Oh, I'll give you a Oh, okay. In the Oshami, he's the host language, so whatever he says goes, not whatever I say. And David is in a partnership with us. We're about to undertake a journey between the body. And trust me, you are right in the middle of the purpose of God. So God instituted this at the very beginning, right in the garden. It was not an afterthought. God knew that the man. You need to remember that your life will be a business. You have no idea what to do. Not at all. Do not neglect your wife. That's right. Give her the maximum attention. She's your best friend. She's your wife. She's your sister. She's your family. She's your confidence. Okay. Um, I've been married for a while. How many years? <laughs> Men will always lose, lose count, okay? So please quickly lose <laughs> count. See, my TV, they want to say anything. Don't worry, that's enough. That's me. That's me. We don't know. We don't know. So please. I'm just okay. Okay. So, 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 and um, my father-in-law has been with the service of God. He's been a counselor for over 40 years. Marriage counselor. I've been married for 10 years. Yeah, I've been married for 10 years. I'm very young. Yes, sir. I, I married very early. I've been married for 10 years. And this is one thing that I will tell you. And I think you might have heard our elders say over and over and over and over again. Never go to bed angry. Never go to bed there is no issue that arises that does not come out. Mm-hmm. And no matter the problem that arises, you always have to talk. You always have to die. The day will come, David will piss you off very time. And then the day will come, it's not my piss you off very time. It's fine. It's part of it. It is part of it, okay? It's part of the journey. Just talk about the issues. And then talk about the personal things. I get to speak about the issues. And Try and be the understanding one. Anytime there's an issue, someone has to apologize. But the question will always be who should apologize first. Amen. And I'll give you the answer to that quickly. The more mature one.
began to develop. And uh, so I'm glad that this thing has worked up in this way. Like I said before, I say anything to say that uh, I wish my brother was here and was here and was here. And as well, I told him, I told him, I told him that I'm there for her any time, whatever. That any time there's anything to let me know. And I'll do it like my children do. I want to say is that, you know, once I came across this book and I spoke about it on my last summer, the thing about it. Men are from Mars, and women are from Venus, the planet Earth. And it underscores the fact that we will have to be from different backgrounds, from different families. And that we don't expect that, I mean, as you go, as you go on this journey, everything is going to be positive or happiness. Because of your differences and where you have came come from. We are going to encounter problems. But like uh, the said and the, the pastor has said, you know, when these problems come, the important thing is how you resolve them. The two of you, you should try all the time to resolve them. Before you go to bed, or if I'm sleeping in the night, you call me and say, that is the problem that I think you know. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, there's only like the two of you, you need a full hands of your how to bear the risk and what's all this with you. And the only thing I'm saying is that respect each one of you to protect you. That means when you know, when there's a problem, then it's that. You know, 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 it's that. And not to always listen to women when they are talking to people all they want to know that they are listening to them. Don't say anything. Just be sad. After a while, it is so fine now. There are a lot of things we can say. Ask people, you know, cherry hair, and then we put on the red light, and then we cherish them. Even if they are wrong, like you were saying, okay. Yeah, I'm for them. I'm for them. I'm for them. I'm for them. And, uh, and uh, consistently make time for it. You know, make time for it. And you can do that. And you can do that. I can go on and go on. But all these things we say, I think, as you say, experience is the best that we have. You yourself should be able to experience it. All that can say to you, when you live here today, let you, you may not even remember that. But please, he said, the two of you, that forget all the Yeah, now, 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 the most important thing. I, the mother said, I recently, for a long time, recently came across the one that I said, the room you find the wife. You know, that find the good yes. and find the good thing. Yes. Yes. Not long ago, I, I found it. Yeah, I was reading something at the So, you are fine. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, I just forget it, but I'm not sure about it. I am your mother. I'm your mother. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I'm very humble guy, you know. I said, whatever you want to tell me, forget I am not your mother. I am your mother. <laughs> and it's a little old. And then he said, I'm your mother. And then that you also said, I want to go to, I mean, pay attention to the way you are. Okay? And be humble. Okay, wait, wait. You see, words are very important. When you put the word that you can never take it again. So no matter what is going on, watch what is slow to talk and shut to you. Okay? 
Whatever you want, I'm going to think about it. Go to the window, or that's your alpha. What God is telling you? You should be thinking, oh, I'm too tired, David. Hey, nobody have cook and then you want to do it. You can't 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 do Every day, don't take uh, David as a living room furniture. If you be careful, it's okay. You know, something feels so old with your husband and wife, and then you know, that's when he said, Okay, it's taken. You have to keep it. Okay, whatever that is your problem, you pray and that will help you. Okay, be a good man, be proud of you. And uh, David, I trust you. Thank you, and take care of mine. Precious. Please, take care. When you get angry, just angry. Sometimes when I get angry, my husband look at me. But I didn't know you look like your mom. You don't cross it. But not that in a negative way, right? If you look at your arm, laugh. Really? So just, you know, all right? And God bless you. Amen. Amen. I've married for 37 years. I want to tell you as a counselor too. One thing that breaks marriage in Christian is what we do when it's not right. We close our eyes when we are caught. <laughs> And we open our eyes when we are married. And that is wrong. Yes. During your courtship is where you have to open your eyes so that you see the things that you are going to get yourself into. So that if you don't like them during your courtship, your courtship you cut it off. But when you close your eyes during your courtship and you didn't see all that you are going to see in your marriage, then you must close your eyes when you <laughs> So my advice to you is that you are married in the presence of God and for God's sake, close your eyes. <laughs> close your eyes. What do I mean by that? There's a story of a couple who married a very wonderful couple, young boys. They used to live separately like you used to. But when they got married, the woman was living differently. The man was also living differently. You know when the man was living alone, you know what he was doing? The man was putting all his shoes under his bed when he was living alone. The woman, when he was living, she was living alone. She was also a Swiss mistress. When she goes to the bathroom to take a shower, she dries her underwear in the bathroom. These two things, these two issues. The man said, I mean, why are you dry your underwear in the bathroom? Well, this best company will see my problem. Why are you do that? The presentation was wrong. You know what the reply, what the, the reply the woman gave? Well, you also keep your sticky shoes in under the bed. <laughs> Do I complain? <laughs> Simple issue. They parted the marriage. So close your eyes. Because you will see things. Things you don't like. Things you don't like. But with God. And humility and respect address the issue as it is your marriage. Your marriage. Mm-hmm. The last thing I will say, your mother said, but let me add it to you. Don't stop your heart. Correct. Both ways. Both ways. It's a young man. <laughs> if you don't feed him, you lose some weight. Don't say that it's so realistic and therefore he doesn't have eyes. That is wrong. That is the thing that will work you. That is right. You, Mr. Denver, when your wife makes any move, don't you know him, my bread? Yes. Make sure you satisfy him. That's what we call bed matters. And talk about everything. If your wife is not your friend, you have to be a serious one. If your wife is not your best friend, 
If your husband is not your best friend, somebody else is your best friend, your marriage is not going to work. Talk about everything from A to Z if you don't understand talk. If you don't understand talk. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. I see you are beautiful and your marriage is going to be wonderful. Amen. Amen. I know you are going to make it. Amen. 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 Without my time to this, I'm going to give you Pastor Sam to bless you. Amen. transitioning into the second phase of this ceremony. There are certain things that had already been said and done in the traditional, but it really doesn't matter. So we want to thank the Lord that today we have this opportunity to bring together in the sight of God and in your presence to join together Christina and David in holy matrimony. This is honor and it is good. And I believe that they have taken their time to ponder over the decision because that is what the scripture says. That it has to be entered into advisedly, discreetly. It should not be taken lightly because this is the making of the Lord. Now, whatever that takes place in this union is for the glory of the Lord. And so everything that has to be done must be done 
in the field of the Lord. And so in this holy estate, David and Christina now come and join together. Is there anyone here who has a just cause that this should not take place? That they may not be lawfully joined together? Let me now speak, or else hereafter forever hold your peace. David and Christina, I also want to ask you. Dig into the secrets of your heart. Is there anything within you that tells you that this should not move forward? If so, you confess now. <laughs> David, I'm going to ask you a very important question. And I want you to respond. Yes, I do. You take Christina, look into her eyes. Woo! I go to <laughs> As your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony, would you love her? Comfort her? Will you honor her and keep her, forsaking all others, and submit yourself only to her? So that you will stand in faith with her against diseases, sicknesses, poverty, as long as you live. Down to you, Christina. Christina, you take David. To be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony, will you obey him, serve him, love him, and keep him only to yourself, submitting to him as the head of this union, and stand in faith, in health, in prosperity and joy, and to stand against sickness, poverty, disease, infirmity, demonic entity, and culture, as long as both of you shall live. I want to say some few words to them. We will proceed. And I want to talk to them for about five, seven minutes using the scripture. Ephesians chapter 5 is 21. And this is what the scripture says. Be subject to one another in the fear of Christ. I'm talking to both of you as Christians. Submission should not be misunderstood. In our culture today, when somebody says you have to submit to someone, it is always resisted. This union is the making of God. Genesis chapter 2 verse 24 tells us that a man should who leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one. This is God's idea. And if it is God's idea, then God knows how 
it should be running. Just like when you have a car, the manufacturer will give you a manual. And once you go against the manual, you always end up having problems. Marriage is a living symbol of Jesus Christ and the church. And therefore, this institution and everything that moves and goes around it is based on principled practice of love, not feelings and emotions. Oh, I didn't like it. You hurt my feelings. And as a result of that, this is what I did. And as Christians, we want to honor the Lord Jesus Christ. And he is our example. The scripture tells us that Jesus submitted himself to God the Father. And as a result of his submission, today we are all saved. The enemies of our lives have been destroyed. He said, have feelings. He said had emotions, but he had one thing in mind that his father has sent him to the world to save us from our sins. And nothing distracted him from that assignment. And so the scripture says that Jesus Christ loved the church and he gave himself to the church. That is what love is all about. In our modern days, in our culture today, love is what I can get. You can come up with, you can quote it words that I'll build you stars. But when you get what you want, nothing else comes thereafter. No, so Jesus was serious. And so we are using Jesus' model, this example. How he submitted himself to God the Father. And at the end of it, we saw the success that Jesus had, and we are the beneficiaries. And so, David and Christina, as you undertake this journey, let us look to Jesus. And so, the scripture says, He's subject to one another in the fear. Of the Lord. On the part of Christina, the woman, this submission will involve diligently acknowledging the leadership of David in this union. And that as the wife and the woman to Follow Jesus' instructions, you have to respect your husband. You have to honor your husband. Sarah called Abraham my Lord. Not that Sarah was Abraham's servant, but that was the will of God for her life as a wife. And so, Christina. I want to leave this with you. Honor your husband. It has already been said. Respect him. Humble yourself. Don't let this journey be about your feelings and emotions. But let it be about pleasing God. Because it is for the honor of God. David, the scripture uses twice as many words talking to the man regarding this issue as against that of the woman. You are the leader. God has arranged that the man is the head of this union. Not because you are better than the woman, but somebody has to lead. And God has chosen the man 
to lead this institution. Jesus was a leader. But what did Jesus do? He humbled himself. He submitted himself to God the Father. And so on your part, when it comes to this issue of submission, is to sacrifice. Jesus sacrificed. He left his glory. He left everything so that the whole world will be delivered from their sins. It was not easy for him. There were times he had to keep quiet. They would ask you, don't you want to say anything? No, because he didn't want to miss the business that he had come to do. Because he didn't want to depend on his emotion. So David, you are the man here. You have to know the woman that God has given to you. You have to know her configuration. You have to sacrifice. Don't let it be about you. If it were about Jesus, you would not be saved. Jesus said, Father, not my will, but your will. And so always let it be the will of God. Make sure that you keep Christina happy. Take care. Spend time. You have to be emotionally connected. Otherwise, the physical aspect will not even work. You know that the emotions involved in marriage is more than the physical aspect. We don't miss it. And so I pray that the Lord who began this good work will take you to the promised land. Amen. When God called the Israelites out of Egypt to the promised land, there were a lot of things that they were not sure of. But God said, I will lead you and I will give you the best. He led them at night by his Holy Spirit as a pillar of fire and the pillar of cloud by day. But all that the Lord wanted from them was them to trust. So trust the Lord. Go according to his word. It will be well with you. Amen. Amen. So we will continue. At this time, they are going to exchange their vow. And I will start with you, David. You say this after me, please. I, David Salasi Opoku. I, David Salasi Opoku. Do take you, Christina Ogusu. Do take you, Christina Ogusu. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And therefore join myself to you. And therefore myself to you. That henceforth, that henceforth we shall be one. We shall be one. I will love you. I will love you. I will cherish you, I will cherish you. according to God's <laughs> holy ordinance. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I want some seriousness here. Yeah. <laughs> I, Christina O's, look into her his eyes, please. Mm -hmm. Take you, David, as my wedded husband. I submit myself to you as the head of this union and stand with you in faith. I promise to love you, to cherish you, to obey you according to God's holy authority. So help me, God. Amen. Now is the time of giving and receiving.
But before we do that, I want David and Christina, they have often to say something to each other. And I have granted that permission. <laughs> so, so uh, David will decide. <laughs> We finally made it through this camp. It's been a long time. We've had some amazing times and not so great times. Thank you for the point of me. However, I'm grateful for God that we were both in one day and God did it for us and it turned it our best to extend the same for each other. We are very different. <laughs> I like order and structure and can be very annoying about it. You go with the flow knowing that things won't go as planned, but you make the best of you with it. You're calm and stressful situations. I stress even more in those same instances. You're witty and can find the humor in me. I can be serious and stiff. <laughs> I admire our differences because I see the beauties that come when we combine our strengths and help each other in the areas where we're not. Um, and I truly look forward to this journey. Mm -hmm. uh, this year has been tough for both of us. We both experienced loss of family close to us. Uh, and we both wish my dad and your grandmother were here to witness this. But I take comfort in knowing that they're both in a better place, free from sickness and pain, and they both mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't promise to be perfect in our marriage, but I know to go to God with everything. By God's grace, I promise to love, respect, and honor you. And when I don't get it right, to go to God first and then come back to you. Amen. Two, I'm oh, sorry, I meant very other. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to recount how much I have grown throughout our journey together, we'll have to get more internet credits for our live stream guests. <laughs> <laughs> Here I was convinced in my own eyes that I was patient, strategic, and visionary, and a general good guy. <laughs> you have taught me that none of these would be true without. Amen. Amen. Thank you for pushing me to trust in Jesus more with my life. Amen. Thank you for teaching me what it means to press in in prayer and love. I pray on this day as we take the next step in our walk that I will see God's heart on how to love you as a daughter of God. Amen. Amen. And God grants me the grace to always demonstrate His loving heart as a good, good father. Amen. May you always feel loved, Amen. inspired, blessed, and full of joy every day we spend together. As you are my darling. How I love you. Oh. How I need you. Oh. Thank you for trusting God on this journey and choosing me to walk alongside you. I love you. Oh. 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 Oh.
At this time, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to have them give and receive ring from each other. This ring is a symbol of your love to each other and a gift of your trust. And so I have the rings. So first of all, we're going to bless and sanctify them and then they will proceed to give to each other. So let us all pray. All in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your wisdom. The Lord, you instituted this union. And so, Lord God, it is only you who know how it can be successful. But we thank you, the Lord, your word have clearly indicated the path we should go. And so, Father, we present these rings unto you. And these rings will be a symbol of your unity, to be a symbol of the vows that, Lord, they have exchanged with each other and how committed they should be every time they look at the ring, Father, to you and to one another. So in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray to bless and to sanctify this. Lord God Almighty, as they put receive and to give to one another, Father, this relationship is sealed. Father, we want to thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, David, you go first. I'll give you Christina's ring and you will put it on the third finger of the left hand. Um, go ahead and put finger on the second. With this ring, with this ring, I be word. I give it as a token of my love and faith in God. I believe with all my heart that this is for all time. It is a seal of my vows to you, Christina. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 This ring to you, and you do the same. With this ring, I give away. I give it as a token of my love and faith in God. I believe with all my heart that this is for all time. It is a seal of my vows to you, David, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Christina and David. With the exchange and the giving of this rain, 
We thank you, Father, that you will lead this journey, even as you have promised. Father, your word to us is final. We know that you are watching over your word to perform it. So we are believing, oh God, for a successful journey. A journey, Lord, that will always acknowledge you. A journey, my Lord, that will be a journey of service unto you. And building of your kingdom. And putting the kingdom of God first. And Father, we are praying and thanking you for the protection that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. We give you thanks and we give you praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 At this stage, we are going to sign the certificate. So, um, give us a good name. Good afternoon. <laughs> Yeah, different from my no, my SS lab. SS lab, okay. You see, you say you know a special mode. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Much as David and Christina 
are consented in holy wedlock. And have witnessed the same before God and you, the congregation. And then too, they have given and pledged the above to each other. And have declared the same by giving and receiving a ring and by joining hands. I, the servant of the Lord, under the anointing of the Holy Spirit, and the authority that has been conferred on me by the city of New York, I hereby pronounce that David and Christina are husband and wife. <laughs>
Are you going down? You doing a dance?
mercy of the Lord are for you. All the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Amen. As we keep standing, I have the privilege, the honor, that for the very first time, I am introducing you to the couple, the latest couple in New York City. <laughs> It's off, right? It's off. The very first time I introduce to you, Mr. and Mrs. David Salasi. Thank you. 